Good afternoon, how are you? Oh, a bit quiet. You okay? You're just processing those cakes. They were quite intense, weren't they? Uh, I don't know if anybody else will relate to uh, the idea that sometimes we get fed up being here. It's time to be over there. It starts as an itch, maybe an idea coming in from the world around us. It doesn't seem to be working. We've outgrown here, and we need to start going over there. But the problem with going over there is we haven't been there before. And we don't know if people like us can go over there. And I've tried this several times now in my life. We've all tried it. We've all done it. We've all gone from here to the new place. And I want to share a few things about that experience with you and see if they ring a bell or see if they can be useful. See, for me, there's just two really big starting places when we're going to want to leave here and go there. And the first is that only us can do it. And a lot of people are waiting for someone else to help them get out of the rut to move from here to over there. But there's a catch there. It's never going to happen. Unless we're incredibly lucky and the world delivers us some tremendous kick in the backside, that's not going to happen. We're going to have to make the move from over here to over there. That's the first bit. And the second bit, which might sound obvious, is if we're going to leave here to go to the new place, we've got to leave here. Now, we don't want to leave here. We love here. We complain about here, but we love here. We know how here works. We're safe here. We may not like our parents or our family, or we might want things we want to sort out with all those people, but we love it really, because it's safe. We know how it works. We don't want to move to the new place, because out there, we don't know if we can succeed. We don't know if they're going to laugh at us. We don't know if we're going to look ridiculous. We don't know if we might fail. But over here, everything's working just funky-dory. There is a problem from going over here to over there. So I'm going to run this in the background, because at the beginning of this, what you're about to see, it's nice. It's nice. Now, actually, once you get used to being under the ocean, it's even nicer, in a weird sort of way. It's even nicer. But at the surface, it's all fine. You've got to leave that if you want to go to the other place. And a lot of us will have a lot of fictions, a lot of things we make up about here, about ourselves here. I can't this. People wouldn't help me to do that. You can only do that if you've got this advantage, or if you're beautiful, or if you can sing, or if you're rich, or if you went to the right school, or if you know the right people. And whether we're young or we're old, we all cling on to these fictions. Reality is we can all take some sort of a shift from here to there. It isn't going to be that complicated. What we're generally trying to hide from is that it will be difficult. It's going to take courage, and it will take commitment, and it will take hard work. And sometimes we'd rather cling on to our fictions over here about what we can't do and how it doesn't work than make the commitment, go for the courage, the hard work to try and reach over there. And once you're on that road, if I can click on to the next, that'd be great, thanks. And once you're on that road, once you've made that leap, everything begins to fall into place. We haven't got the job done here. We haven't got the job done here. But things begin to fall into place. Once we've made the leap, we'll begin to find the people who can help us. Once we've made the leap, we can begin to work out what skills we're going to need to put in place. How are we going to learn those? Do we learn those online? Do we learn those in a formal education? Do we learn those while we're still at school? Do we have to go back to school? How are we going to acquire the new skills needed to go over there? And whatever age, because another thing people love when they're over here, this is one for the older folk in the audience, the over 25s. is, well, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, you know. What can I do? I am what I am. I am who I am. We've learned what I've learned. I am, no, no, no. We can all learn the new tricks. And we're all going to have to more and more and more. That'll take courage. We'll meet the new people. We're going to hit obstacles, and we'll find our ways over those obstacles and around those obstacles. Our creativity is going to kick in, and we'll start working it out. But none of that happens while we're here. 
And sometimes we can get hung up on this because we think, I need to know how to get over there before I jump. I need to be able to see the path. I've got to be certain about how it's going to work. I've got to see that I can succeed before I leave here, which is oh so nice to journey over there. We never know how it's going to work. To be honest, we don't know how over here is going to work. We certainly don't know how getting over there is going to work. Life's going to throw a whole load of stuff at us. And what we love is to think it's all certain. We don't like trying the new things, the uncertain things, the risky things that we haven't done before. I don't mean dangerous, physically dangerous. I mean risky because we haven't done them before. I don't like to put my hand up and answer a question. Today I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to be the hand up question person. We don't like to do that. The risky things we haven't done before. But all of the adventures we have, all of the changes that we create for ourselves, the growth that we go through, all comes from those moments when we take those risky steps, when we do move forward. We become slowly the new version of us. We get to over there. And then, here's the catch. If we could advance, please. As soon as we've got over there, we have to start coming back. I mean, we're never going to come back to the same place because we've changed, right? So we can't come back to the same place. But we're going to come back. We come back to our friends. Come back to our families. Come back to our communities. We come back to us, the great homecoming, the, the prodigal son or the prodigal daughter. We've got to leave and go over there to discover who we are. And we come back on our terms back to here. Now we can come back. We can say loud and proud, I, uh, I want to be an artist. Or uh, I don't want to be an artist. I want to be a police officer. Or, uh, or I'm straight. Or I'm gay. Or whatever it is I need to say. I can come back and on my terms I can say it. I went over there. I came back as me. I've been through the changes. And if we could run the next bit of film, that'd be great. So here, the important thing about a free dive is always to make sure you're coming back. Spend a lot of time thinking about coming back. Some of you might think that it's uh, a very dangerous pastime and it has its risks. You need to be thinking through carefully how you go about it. It's much less dangerous than you think. The biggest danger is not following process and discipline and procedure and commitment and knowing what it is that you're, you're going to do out there. But you are literally going to go through change. You have to take a decision at the outset that you're going to see the thing through or you won't get to over there. You're going to go through change. Why? Because you're going to go to uh, 11 atmospheres. We measure pressure in atmospheres. It's one atmosphere to outer space. So if I was to say to myself at the beginning of this journey to over there, for me, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to, go to 80 metres and I'm going to stop there, I'm going to have a little think and see if today's the day for me. That's not going to work. Because at 80 metres it isn't the day for you. You're under nine times the Earth's atmospheric pressure. You're going to 11. We've gone from naught to nine in 60 seconds. When you come into land at the airport, you go through a fraction of an atmosphere, but you do it over around about 30 minutes in a commercial pressurised jet. We've just gone to nine atmospheres. We've done it in 60 seconds wearing neoprene. You know you're going through a change here. Your lungs have been compressed to around about the size of your clenched fists. Completely safe if you've trained for it. This means the body's going through some changes. The blood is rushing in to support the lungs. That's all fine and healthy. The, uh, the diaphragm, the muscle that uh, uh, separates our tummies from our chest has been sucked up into your chest cavity like the dome of the cathedral, St. Paul's in London. And that means that the vacuum is going to pull your tummy in behind like this, which means... At 90 metres, 80 metres, you look fantastic. <laughs> if only there was someone there to see you. Well, there's nobody there, right? There's no scuba diver down there with a, with a tank and a mouthpiece in case you want to change, change your mind, you want to bottle it and come home. Why? Because it's going to take a scuba diver around about three hours and five tanks of mixed gases to come home, which are toxic at different levels. They're controlling all of this. This is incredibly dangerous. Much more dangerous than free diving. You've got to decide you're going there. You're going to see it through. And then you've got to decide that you're coming back as the new you.
back to the starting place. We always come back, the homecoming, but now we're us. Now it's on our terms. And if I could advance, it's us and we're on our terms, but of course we're different. We're changed. We're changed. We don't dance anymore to the dance they wanted us to dance. Now we know how to dance our dance. It was Viktor Frankl who survived the concentration camp and went on to found a school of psychology and write a book that had huge impact called Man's Search for Meaning. So there are three ways to find meaning, through love, through suffering and sorrow, and through a purpose, through deciding we're going to go over there. And through going over there, we're going to decide who and what we are. And so if you need to go over there, but you like it here, or even if you think you don't like it here, for some reason you're not going over there, we're going to have to find the courage to take that leap. We're going to have to realize we've got to do that ourselves. There'll be some hard work and discipline and courage required, but that it won't be that complex. We won't have to study for a PhD to get over there, unless you need a PhD to get over there. But it isn't a complex procedure. We can do it. We find the courage, we find the support from other people. And we go on our journeys. And for those of you who want to do that, who are itching to do that, it can be done. And I wish you every possible success in going about it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>